Hey, YouTube, what's good, man? It's Metro Doom in here, man. Doomer, you know. Yo, I just want to bring up a little uh, follow up to my boy's video. <laughs> you already know. But this is the clip he was alluding to uh, with uh, some of this shit, man. Look, when he said it before, I'll just make an example of it. Warzone is not competitive. It's just fucking Call of Duty, or it's just a type of Call of Duty, if you will, with a uh, Battle Royale, free for all. But you know what? If y'all want to believe what we say, you don't want to believe what Sirius it says, take it from the people right here. Got two examples for you. Check it out. And I just, I know very minimal about this. And I don't even know how it would work, but people are using routers to reverse boost. So they're no longer. I, I have one of these routers. Okay, go on. Yeah. Yeah. Keyboarder. So oh, it's, it's just. Oh, you have one of these routers. Oh, so do many other people. But you know what people do? They abuse this shit. And of course, they're going to get into it. But let me just sh give you a quick example of what the fuck he's talking about. Because you know what? A lot of people do this shit. I don't do this shit because it's not even worth it. It's not. This is not. Let me show y'all something. I'm going to go to here. Bring up this. This is me logged into my router. You got a couple different options. You got a ping heat map where you can actually ping servers and see what the fuck is close. So if you want to geo filter, which we'll get into right here, this is what people do. Let me show y'all some. Look, you got Vanguard, it give you a whole list of games. You can ping it. This shit is nothing new, man. Oh, actually, that's the one I made. I actually made that. Of course, it's not available anymore. Because I just want to see how close can you get. But anyway, let's click on Vanguard. Oh, it changed. Oh, I love this. It changed. So now today for Vanguard, you got a fucking server here. What is this, Mon fucking Tana? Which is at 53 fucking latency. And I don't know where the fuck this is. Uh, geography? Yeah, nah. Fail. But anyway. Shows you this. Ping of 59. Go to the panel. Why the fuck? Like, why is that the servers for me today? Why is this different today? I shit you not. Now, I live here. All the way in here somewhere. In Michigan. I don't give a fuck if y'all know where I live. Cause what, what you gonna do? Jack shit. Now anyway, I'm here. Somewhere here. Alright, I had a server. I shit you not. The other fucking day. That showed up here. Right here. Close. 20, it was 20 something milliseconds. Now today that server is offline or not showing up. Don't know why. But here, let me go back up. How the fuck do you do this? You go back up. Bah. Okay, you can do Vanguard, you can do Warzone. Oh, go figure. Warzone. Same two servers. Uh there's Halo in here. You get oh no, they added Halo. This has been updated. So now for Halo. Oh, I get a server. I got a server for Halo now. Look at that, a close one. And MCC. We'll just do these for example. Ping that. Oh, I got one for MCC as well. Now I get low pings for once showing up for servers. Now, geo filter. This is how these motherfuckers do it. Let me show you something, man. They want a bot lobby. They'll fucking, what they'll do is they'll ping. Hold on. Let me give y'all, let me show y'all step by step here. They'll ping, say, let's just do Warzone because obviously Warzone's not competitive. These motherfuckers will ping all the way over here in Africa. Or Kenya, some some stupid, which I don't understand, to get their bot lobbies. And what they'll do, they'll go to their geo filter, like some fucking Fagos, and they'll go see. They won't show up on here, but you'll memorize where it's at, and they will fucking go to draw mode, and they will draw a fucking box all the way around what they want to connect to. And that's how they fucking do this bullshit. And they'll use a VPN 
to take advantage of it because the VPN will bypass any bullshit with a generic IP address or a masked IP address and they will connect their little goofy asses here and say, oh, look, I'm a Warzone guy because I'm playing people on fucking shitty ping in the middle of nowhere that don't play don't play Call of Duty to the extent that y'all play over here in the first world country compared to a, I guess Africa is going to be second world now since they, Africa is not bad anymore. Well, I'm going to say it's not bad anymore, but it's more um, up to date, if you will, in layman's terms. But that's what these motherfuckers do, man. Okay. Just, just, just to give you a little idea. And yeah, you can do miles, kilometers, whatever, strict mode. This is just goofy shit. I don't even mess with this, man. I made one for Vanguard, yes. It shows that, but it doesn't it says NA. NA. It is not available anymore. Just because I want to see how close did I have a server close to me. Not there. Why is it not there? That server's offline? Who knows? Whatever. We can delete that shit. Cause it really don't matter. It even shows you the fucking IP of that server. Wonder why it's gone now. I'm gonna say delete the list. Let's see if it pops up since I deleted the list. Call of Duty. Let me go to Vanguard. Let's just see if it pops up. Nope. It's, yeah, it just completely changed. Hmm. So some days you get certain servers, some days you don't. Whatever. But I just want to show y'all this. Yeah, I got an XR1000 gaming router. Usually I would direct connect, but I live in a household and I share the internet with somebody. So. Which is going to change. I'm actually looking for a house. But that's beside the point. This is so y'all know. This is what these motherfuckers do. On this shit. Just so y'all know. And they'll load up a VPN. I don't have. I do have a VPN. But I don't even have it installed. None of that. I used to use Nord. But I used to use that for some other shit. Doesn't even, it, it doesn't even help. I've tried it. Why wouldn't I try it right? I've tried it. It does not help. It's at least not for me and not for people that play like me, a.k.a. my teammates. Okay? That shit does not work. But anyway, we can log out of here. Let's go back to the video. Actually, I'll keep, I might keep that open. I might have to revisit this. Carry on. Literally, it's a router. You log in like a normal router, and there's a map. And it has like a circle going around from like where you're at. And you can change the radius. Oh, uh, you can change radius, my nigga. Look, you know what it is. I'm not saying not, I'm not saying Dashy does this shit, but not Dashy. Uh, fuck, Dylan, whatever his fucking name is. All he's talking about, I have it in polygon mode, which is what you draw. You can draw with, right? You can do this. That's the circle he's talking about. All right, you can make this. Hold on, how do you make it bigger? Oh, set your distance. You can. You set your location, and you can make the distance like this. You can cover the whole world if you just want to ping everything. Or you can geo-filter just uh, North America. Better bing, better boom. That easy. That easy. That's what these scumbags do. But fuck the geo-filtering and all that bullshit. No. Turn this shit off. Don't, don't do nothing to my device. Zero. No, 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 no. Turn this off. There. Perfect. Set home. This is my home. Oh, damn it. Nope. Don't set home. Put it back on drawing mode. Delete mode. And there. Good. So, now, I have nothing. Just so y'all don't start fucking accusing me of doing some bullshit, but I don't do shit anyway. I'm not no big name. I just been in, the, been in this shit for a long time. But anyway, back to it. So you can play people in the EU, um, just in the US, just in your state, yeah. just in like the Midwest, so you whatever you, you want. Do it. So you're basically skipping no, over no, skill base. I don't do that. I don't, no, so no, what, no. so what's, how, how do you reverse blue stack? How do you like get a different skill base? Well, I don't know. I played <laughs> I don't know a decent game. amount of Warzone tourneys in my time, and you can really, really tell. Because like obviously there's players that are very, very good at Warzone and just at games in general, and you will just get bot lobbies against them consistently. I'm not going to say any names. We don't like to be called bots. I'm not going to say any That's names, a problem right there. That's a fucking problem. Why the fuck aren't you saying names, skump? MDA? You don't want to throw somebody under the bus? Fuck that. This is why this shit is the way it is. 
Stop being a fucking goofy, dog. I don't know if, what happened in Chicago. What, you get scared by little Dirk? What? What the fuck happened, man? Come on, dude. You ain't gonna say no names. Goofy as shit. Anyway. But there's players that, like, you would play in a Warzone tournament, and you'd be like, okay, it's probably gonna be sweaty as hell. I mean, you could probably attest to this, too. You've played some Warzone yeah. tourneys. I mean, Davis, played, you've played Warzone tourneys. I have. I mean, you get into lobbies with, like, and this is in, like, the 2v2 format where you're kill racing people. His name's Grub Bay. Sorry. And you just get the most weird lobbies, but it's consistent against those same people every time. I was like, you know, people run up a 60-kill game, and I'm like, this is going to be a sweaty lobby. We should probably play slow. And then they'll just get, like, absolute hamsters on the sticks. And the thing is, too, I think the only way you could probably tell if they're doing it is if the lobbies take longer to load because you're only getting a player base from a certain, like, area. And as much as I love Warzone – and I would love for it to be competitive. It just, it's just not. It's not competitive. It's not a compet. Like he said it himself. The king of fucking Call of Duty himself, at least competitive Call of Duty. It's not fucking competitive. Yet you fucking rats and weasels fucking out here. Oh, I'm the best. I'm the fucking best. Look at me. I'm phase douchebag. You can do it too. Stop being a fucking fago, man. Shit's not competitive. Stop playing. Stop fucking playing. That's why the fucking scene's fucked up. The tournaments are competitive because everyone in the tournament's really, really good. But you, it's just there's so much left to chance and it's RNG. unpredictability. It's, it's RNG. Really RNG. It's like it's 80%. The, it's probably RNG. the least RNG Battle Royale, though, because uh-huh. of the buyback system. Yes. The least... RNG is st- it's still RNG nigga what's going through your fucking brain do- does your shit work yeah that, I, and, I agree and with that that makes, that makes and your, your loadout yeah and your loadout but that's it's what just, makes Warzone better than all the other BRs to be honest I don't well know, yeah man. in They're, general I agree with you but I don't agree yeah. with, I don't agree in like a competitive sense in a competitive sense like you could get what because you can't be in the same lobby yeah so it's like if yeah those if tournaments three, are the th- like the three hour like the three best hour five kill, games I mean, are so whack they're not competitive at all like it no yeah it's super chance it's style. literally right. are you getting good lobbies are you getting stream sniped I mean that happens in yeah. the kill races too but oh in the kill I mean there are so many ways to be scumbags in that in those kill races like and if you guys missed our latest videos all right shut the fuck up Jake Sucky nobody want to hear fuck what you got to say anyway you get the point. Let's watch another one. This was from December 31st of 2020. Okay. I'm not sure when the fuck Snore Zone came out, but anyway. Now, let's fast forward. January 16th. So this is probably, what, a month later? Less than? Yeah, less than a month later. Let me not lose. I'm trying not to lose full bar, but this, this shit. Bruh. Have you have any of you played Warzone since uh it came out? Since yeah. What? The I new played it one time. Out. The new what? Nigga, obviously they played Warzone. What? The, uh, nigga, did you forget what you said one month ago? You just. In the tournament. Did you even bother streaming that? Huh? Did you even bother streaming <laughs> no, that? No, I didn't. Yeah, I, was, I looked at your stream that day and I didn't find it. I was actually piecing. I was watching Blake stream. You were going hard. Huh? I said I was watching Blake stream. You were going hard. Yeah, I was actually dropping like 20. 20 Wait, why did you turn your stream on? I was just nervous. No confidence. <laughs> I was like, I was like, if I get smoked, I'm not streaming this shit. Oh my god. I was, I was he was afraid he was gonna get bounced. And this is the thing. This is what look. These niggas dodge. Look, if it's something they can't be good in, I mean, I'm not gonna blame them. Shit, I don't stream this shit either. But well, you heard Scump himself. If I get smoked, I'm not streaming this shit. Who wants to stream themselves getting smoked like all the time, especially if there's hackers and cheaters? It's one thing to get smoked and learn from it. Because the other person is just good. 
But there's just too many variables in this bullshit. Too many. Let's continue. What's See, that? Beforehand, I was like, don't even. <laughs> we, we, so we, we actually didn't do, like, bad. We got 10th. We needed to get top eight to advance. We got 10th. We got 10th. That's not bad. Yeah. We didn't do, like, that bad. There was, there was 19 teams, I think. So we were like middle of the pack. Better than mm. I thought you'd do. Yeah, mm. I haven't played Warzone in freaking. <laughs> it is different. Middle, I'll it take is it is th there is a massive difference between oh, it. Oh yeah. Just yeah, the, the meta movement right now is crazy though. Yeah. The meta they're right doing now is they're like doing weapons so tuning soon, right? Right now, yeah. If we hopped on Warzone it's right DMR. now with the meta, we would like be lost. Just because like it's all Cold War guns. The DMR though, though. is just stupid. The, they're weapon tuning tomorrow. Pretty the, sure. The is is it all Cold War guns though for like the meta? Yeah. They all they all. It is, man. Like I'm sorry if I'm frequently pausing, but. Come on, man. Pretty the sure. The is Isn't is all Cold War guns, though? Weapon tuning tomorrow. It's just I mean, like it's all Cold War guns, The DMR though, is just stupid. The, they don't, they don't, on right they now, don't know the, the meta. meta. We would, like, be lost. It's just I mean, like it's all Cold, Cold War guns, though. The DMR though, is just stupid. The, they're weapon tuning tomorrow. Pretty the sure. The Isn't is it all Cold War guns, though, for, like, the meta? Yeah. all they all even here, right? Like, maybe. Maybe it's just, like, different, like, There's dual, the dual DMRDs. I mean, everything. Wait, when is, is that happening today? The wow. the update with Fundrise, the oh same kind God. of real estate investments that have powered the world's strongest portfolios for yeah, decades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, tomorrow, tomorrow, Thursday, what's happening tomorrow? The well, seventh. The, 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 that's not the only thing that's going on. I just found out through this note, Pat, and the research that we did right before this, that there is a companion app for Warzone, which allows you to run this parallel to launching your game. And before you even launch the game, it gives you a list of all 100 and whatever players that are in there and tells you everything about them. Ha have you heard about Their it? Their favorite food. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen videos. Food. And it's food. nuts. People just go in and you can look like the average KD the lobby. And if it's like too high, you just leave yeah, and go true. to a better lobby if you're trying to drop like world record kills or whatever. Companion app now gives you, well, I wouldn't say now because I'm doing this video late on this shit, but at the time or if it's still available which i'm sure it is it's giving people chances to lobby shop now it's not a is it terrible whatever you might not want to be in a sweat lobby 24 7. but god damn it if you're gonna sit here and act like you're the fucking best and you're getting bot lobbies bro fuck you and you make money from it fuck you because you're putting on this fucking false front you know, that you're this and that, and you're not. You're not. Continue. Mm. Which and is lame. And again, that's why I said last week that Warzone isn't a competitive game. Well, I think, I think, so much I think it can on. be. There's so it much, isn't right now, but so it can be. So much Fugaze. There's like reverse boosters. Uh, me and Seth have talked about this. There is a lot of... The router thing is like the most crazy thing to me. Because I heard that Companion app got nerfed, or like they changed it. But that's what they the companion app got nerfed or they changed it. Obviously, they changed it, Matthias. But yes. Yes. This is some bullshit, man. Let's continue. Small to what, like, yeah, they like half, 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 like, half of these. Actually, no, I don't even want to get into no, it. Ahead, no, I get but into half it. These content creators, some of them are sketchy they gotta be for as fuck, bro. I've talked about this. Like, oh, yeah. Some of them are. <laughs> Like, <laughs> there are some things they do <laughs> that, guy, like, if you go in depth at it and you actually break it down, like, you'll be like, damn, like, these Watch guys the are, like, these guys are cheating. Yeah, like, 100%. People like, look at it at different monitors. Yeah, like, people, like, literally radar. Clutch, on, like, clutch situation, you're not even looking at your monitor. You're playing it perfectly off form, have Deddy with Ghost, but yeah. you're magically making There's the clips. right play every single time. You never get shot in the back. Sure. And RNG. Fuck! Never get shot in the fucking back? Does that ring a fucking bell, man? Wake the fuck up. BR, like, something's not Dude, right you guys there. You about that shit, though? It's like people mess with the routers and get in, like, Yeah, yeah, the like, Nezumas. Yeah, yeah we talked about saying. that last week. Like, that, that shit's, like, crazy. Geolocation? Like, what are we, seals? Like, you can't even, like, prove someone's doing that. And that just chalks up any, like, competitive integrity for me, at least. I'm like, yeah. how am I supposed <laughs> to know if the guy I'm playing against in tournament is doing that or not? You don't. Yeah. Right. So How do like, I know they're not reverse boosting? And yeah, and then it's like everyone's mindset too and nowadays <laughs> is if he's doing it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. And then so now it's like now you got everyone doing it. It's yeah. probably just infested. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then it's like Oh, I've seen like people good that point, I man. know that are like very credible, like upstanding, you know, good competitive players, they're like, I'm fucking get one, like Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> but you can't yeah, at that point you can't help it, right? Because you have you, you have these natural, you know, gifted people who are actually good at the game. 
that would love to compete on an evil on, on a level playing field, evil but here you on an evil playing <laughs> field, <laughs> on an playing field, on a, on a <laughs> evil level playing field, and then you have these little jackass cheating losers yeah. that I don't understand. Like it's the internet, N- you can't get away with shit on the internet. You know what I mean? Like y- you will get caught. It's only a matter of time of you getting caught, and then your career is like for real, super over, and you, that's what it well, is. Holy shit. Hex speaks sense. Sometimes. Fucking A. Thank you, Hector. You still get on my nerves, but thank you, nigga. God damn. You can tell, too, like, who would do, like, sketchy shit and who wouldn't. Like, you can just tell. Name. Huh? No, no, no. I wouldn't name. No, I'm not going to name him, but, like, you can tell, like, who. See, man, it? this is the thing. This is the problem. Why won't y'all name people, especially if you fucking know? You're a fucking pro organization, man. This is the problem that's going on in this shit. And if it's happening in this, and you know it's happening in Halo, shit, we're playing Halo right now. Only reason we're not fucking with COD is because just some goofy shit. Pretty much this shit. But, god damn, man. What do you want? Like, what do you, I don't know what else to do. We can sit here and make these videos all day. The proof is right here. You got the motherfucking pros telling you. Wake the fuck up. Let me after the podcast. <laughs> can us compare notes? I got, I got clips, bro. But you can tell. For the most part. Not yeah. always, but. Yo, me, me. You can tell. You can tell. You can tell. That's the whole point. You can tell. You know what's natural on sticks. You know what's not natural on sticks. You know what's natural on mouse and keyboard. And you know what's not natural on mouse and keyboard. If you're a fucking hardcore gamer. And you have played both. And when I say both. I meant controller wise. Controller or mouse and keyboard. You know what flicks. You know what snaps. You know what looks robotic. And you know what's fucking not what well, looks natural continue man hitch and ambos have a have a thread i'm like yo you see this shit and then, and then both are like yeah he cheated it's like, <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't even opened it he's like yeah he cheated <laughs> 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 it's just hard hard to hard to understand but this companion app like i i think that that this sort of application like it's is helpful but not big soap is ruining your dating life generic body wash isn't even real soap shut the fuck up in in situations like in, in let me just let me just stop this again the companion app for call of duty was good i think uh not even i think is what i know for certain when ghost was out it was good you know why because i grinded the fuck out of that game i played against the market j played with the market j got queued up in lobbies with them it was always a good time his streams were a blast but here's the thing the companion app was great because you can fucking change your loadouts on the fly. So when you get home, your loadouts are already made. And you can do your clan wars. You can do your, uh, set up your clan wars or whatever, get ready before uh, it starts at a certain time at night. And then basically you're just in a race or not even, yeah. If I get this right, or if I think of this correctly, it was pretty much a, I wouldn't say a race, but you got a certain time where you and your team just plays the game and you got to win certain matches, you know, um, versus whatever that's on the companion app map or whatever. You got to play this game mode. You got to play that game mode or whatever. And it's either you win or you lose. And then versus the other team, uh, the other team that you're playing in the clan war would be random, but you're not really playing them in the game. That's kind of lame, but, I mean, what do you do? There's software, hardware limitations. But, I think it was still a good concept when that shit was out. And that was, yeah, that was Ghosts. Ghosts, the AW have, and I can't remember. I know Ghosts for certain, because I used to, Competitive situation. at work, definitely uh, edit my uh, loadout and everything to know what I'm going to use when I get home. Then I'm online with the team. I'm already good to go. Anyway, that's just a little backstory on the companion app. Haven't used it since. Don't even know if it still exists. This is where it is. I think that maybe a companion app to give you more information about your own stuff, like that is useful. 
uh, other people shit like obviously like that 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 affects the, the competitive uh, scene but from a uh, analytical standpoint the more you know the more data you have like the better in my opinion so I don't know uh, the next topic that we're moving on to is the one that kind of kind of got me a little bit hot and bothered and by that I mean excited by that I was like oh shit Call of Duty makes 2.5 billion uh, well anyway so yeah man that's the that's the gist of that I just want to follow up on serious video it's probably one a little longer than expected but hey I don't know how many times we got to keep regurgitating this bullshit until it just clicks in y'all heads, but this is what the fuck is going on. And again, it's going on in Halo, and it's going on in COD. And these fucking Warzone rats that think they're the fucking best shit in the fucking world are literally doing this shit. And then the problem is, you got all these investors, these outside eyes, looking in like, ooh, yeah, I want to invest in this. You know, it's bringing in money. Why not? But they don't really know what's fucking going on. Prime example, NBA stars, uh, rappers, uh, I don't know who else, but uh, uh, TikTok media people, who, who the fuck ever? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm naming names. Fuck it. You got Snoop Dogg. He's part of FaZe. LeBron, I just saw today. I think he's uh, funding C9, Blue. Um, who else? Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure Steph Curry's in this shit. I don't, I'm not sure what org. Um, there's a lot, man. Shaquille O'Neal. Forgot what team. Uh, Rick Fox. Like, come on, man. These, uh, uh, Andrew, Anthony Davis. Not Andrew Davis. Anthony Davis. Faze. Part of Nuke Squad. Like, bro. These niggas do not know what the fuck goes on in this shit. Yet they're throwing thousands, millions, <coughs> I ain't even gonna say thousands, millions of dollars into this shit. Meanwhile, we got a fucking problem in the whole fucking community, both communities, COD Halo. Get it together, man. I'm out this bitch. Catch y'all later. Peace.